has been around since the dawn of man. Whether for visualizing a hunt or for magical healing, whether for decorative reasons or protective purposes, mankind has been making and using paint. What paint is made of and how it's made and even what it is used for have evolved and dramatically transformed through the eons. From crushed plants and pulverized insects to egg yolks and ground-up minerals of olden times to today's paints with components more complicated than a thousand insects crushed and mashed together. Boyson knows this more than any other paint manufacturer in the country. As the number one paint manufacturer in the Philippines that is making a mark in other countries, Boyson is dedicated to producing quality yet affordable paint products using the most modern and efficient formulas and technology available. And it is the first paint manufacturing plant in the Philippines to have a completely closed production system that minimizes dust dispersal or any external contamination. What is a recipe for paint? Paint is defined as a pigmented liquid composition that is converted to an opaque solid film after application as a thin layer. Its main ingredients consists of a pigment dispersed in a binder and reduced with solvent as a transfer medium, augmented by additives that bestow desired specific properties. Altogether, when applied onto a surface, it forms a continuous film to protect, color, coat, and beautify the surface. Pigments, binders, solvents, and additives are mixed together to create the paint we use today. Each component plays an important role. Let's look at each one. Pigments are granular solids or dry powders which are incorporated into the mixture to contribute color and provide hiding properties. Pigment powders are colorants and extenders and they can be either natural or synthetic. A pigment is composed of primary particles which are sized to provide optimum results in paint films. In the case of white pigments, titanium dioxide or TiO2 is usually used. It is also referred to as the perfect white as it scatters light most efficiently when the particle size is 0.22 microns. Extender pigments such as talc or calcium carbonate are also used to contribute to a paint's properties such as flow or viscosity, sedimentation stability, film strength. Pigments in powder form are made up of larger and smaller agglomerates. It is important to these agglomerates to be completely reduced to their structural elements, which are aggregates and primary particles, in order for the pigments to develop the desired application characteristics. A binder is what forms the protective matrix that allows the pigment to adhere well to a surface. The binder can be made up of one or more basic resin or polymer systems, either synthetic or natural. It is what determines the pigment and the type of solvent in which it is dissolved. The binder plays a vital role in giving protection to the substrate and to the components within the film. As the main constituent material that holds all the ingredients together, it ensures that resin, fillers, pigments, and other components are homogeneously dispersed. It also affects key paint properties such as gloss, durability, flexibility, integrity, and toughness. The pigments are scattered in binders through the dispersion process. This process is necessary to produce a stable and uniform separation and distribution of the pigment particles. Solvents are necessary to ensure an even mixing of the paint components and to make them easy to apply. They dissolve or suspend the binder and provide paint with a proper viscosity. A solvent or a blend of solvents primarily serves 
as a carrier for non-volatile components. The mixture of binder and solvent is referred as the pigment's vehicle. Water-based or latex paints, for example, use water for diluting. However, for oil-based paints, also called alkyd paints, solvents used usually include mineral spirits and other petroleum distillate solvents. Additives are then included in the mix to give the paint certain desired properties. Examples of additives may be catalysts, coalescents, thickeners, defoamers, dryers, stabilizers, emulsifiers, texturizers, adhesion promoters, UV stabilizers, flatteners, biocides and anti-mold agents, and so on. Even if small amounts of additives are put in, they can still provide a significant effect on the product. All these components combined together will not necessarily produce the desired high-quality paint until they have undergone the proper pigment dispersion process. There are four steps involved in the dispersion process. Wetting, grinding, stabilizing, and deflocculation. Wetting simply means applying a thin layer of liquid to a solid surface so that all the air and the moisture is displaced from the surface and between the particles of the pigment aggregates and agglomerates. The solid gaseous interface, which is composed of the pigment and air, is transformed into a solid liquid interface made up of the pigment and the solvent solution. During grinding, the pigment agglomerates are broken up and disrupted into smaller units and dispersed or uniformly distributed. At the stabilizing stage, the appropriate surfactants or jelly agents are added to prevent the pigment particles from re-agglomerating or clumping again. These agents slow down the settling of the particles by forming an energy barrier between them. And that leads to deflocculation, which is the absence of association, whereby the pigment particles repel each other and remain apart. Here at Boysen, the most modern high-speed mixers are used for combining materials and dispersing pigments. These machines utilize enormous mechanical energy called mills to ensure complete dispersion. The mill base is that portion of the coating formulation which is charged to the dispersion mill to make a pigment paste. It is composed of a highly concentrated mixture of pigment and the appropriate vehicle. This is the typical high-speed disperser configuration. At this time, it is important to monitor and check the fineness of the grind and the temperature. In fact, here at Boysen, being a fully integrated manufacturing facility, every step of the paint manufacturing process is closely checked and monitored through computers by our engineers. When the correct mill base formulation has been achieved, it is then transferred into letdown tanks, where it is forced through a small clearance between a rotating water-cooled roller and a bar pushed against the roller. The next step in paint manufacturing is the letdown or thinning stage. It is the process when the mill base is gradually reduced by adding the remaining paint ingredients, such as the resin, solvent, and additives. These are thoroughly combined in a separate vat. But before the finished paint is sent out for filling and canning, a sample from each finished batch is taken to undergo quality control tests 
to ensure that the paint meets the high quality standards of Boyson. Quality control tests cover hiding power, viscosity, pH levels, density, gloss, percentage of solids. Then and only then, when the finished batch has passed the battery of quality control tests in flying colors, will it proceed to the final step of filling and canning. Today, making paint is a far cry from primitive times. But creating and making paint does not really stop here. The paint manufacturing technology that Boyson uses today is the most modern and state-of-the-art in the country so far. But it remains open to breakthroughs to come, especially in products and processes which exceed industry standards in performance safety, sustainability, and environment friendliness. Expect Boyson to paint an even brighter future for its customers and for the country.